A volcanic eruption is nature at its most spectacular. But they can also be deadly. Here in the Central American country of Guatemala sits Volcán de Fuego, or Volcano of Fire. And just over a week ago, this happened. It sent ash and molten rock 10 kilometres into the air, blanketing nearby towns and leaving at least 70 people dead, while others are still missing. At the same time, far away in Hawaii, Kilauea volcano is still erupting. And while many homes have been destroyed, no one has died. So what made the Guatemalan eruption so deadly? Well, first, let's take a look below the surface of the Earth to find out how volcanoes are formed. Underneath the Earth's crust, that's the nice cool bit we live on and grow plants in, things get a lot hotter. In fact, the centre of the Earth is as hot as the surface of the sun. That heat sends a lot of pressure out through the next layer, the mantle. At some points, molten rock called magma pulls at the surface of the mantle and breaks through weak points in the crust as a volcano. There aren't any active volcanoes in Australia. The closest are over in New Zealand, which is part of a big volcano chain known as the Ring of Fire. One ring to rule them all. No, not that one. This Ring of Fire makes its way around the Pacific Plate. You see, the Earth's outer layer is actually a bit like a jigsaw. It's broken into pieces, which are constantly and very slowly moving together. Where the jigsaw pieces meet, there are often weak spots and gaps where volcanoes can form. Hawaii's volcanoes aren't part of the Ring of Fire, and when they erupt, they tend to slowly spew out lava, which is what you call magma when it reaches the surface. The name of this type of eruption is a Hawaiian eruption. Original, huh? In Hawaiian eruptions, the lava usually moves slowly enough that people can get out of the way but eruptions can be much more explosive. In some volcanoes, pressure can build up until there's a sudden explosion of gas, ash and hot bits of rock. That's called a pyroclastic flow. Pyroclastic flows move really quickly, which is why they're so dangerous. And that's what came from Volcán de Fuego in Guatemala. It was also a pyroclastic flow from Mount Vesuvius that buried the Roman city of Pompeii in 79 AD. Eruptions like that are rare, but with millions of people living in the shadow of volcanoes, it's important that we know as much as we can about them. That's why experts are always working on better ways to predict when big eruptions are going to happen so they can keep people as safe as possible from these fierce forces of nature.